today in music history. Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about musician Jack White. Jack White was born John Anthony Gillis on July 9, 1975 in Detroit, Michigan. Jack, the youngest of 10 children, spent some of his early childhood as an altar boy. He even made an appearance in an independent film as an altar boy. Mr. White was on his way to seminary college when he realized he couldn't take his newly acquired guitar amp with him, so he ditched that idea quick. An early job Jack had as a kid was an apprentice upholsterer, which turned into his own business titled Third Man Upholstery. Although a drummer by design, Jack was eager to play organized music in a band. So when Jack and his friend, who was also a drummer, decided to team up, Jack just said, heck, I'll play guitar then. Jack's first band was called, you guessed it, The Upholsterers. And after sharpening his skills, cutting cover tunes on a beat up four track reel to reel, Jack landed his first professional gig as a drummer with a local band called Goober and the Peas. Then came the White Stripes with drummer Meg White. The White Stripes steadily gained massive success. From 1997 to 2011, the White Stripes released six different records and also made the Guinness Book of World Records for the shortest concert ever performed. Never one to slow down, Jack continued his assault on the music business and formed two new bands, The Raconteers and The Dead Weather. And you could check out these two great bands. I put links below in the description. Jack White's career achievements so far. Certified gold records in the US and the UK for his solo debut record titled Blunderbuss. Jack was also given a Nashville Music City Ambassador Award by the mayor for his contribution to the city and its music. That's it for this episode of Music History. There's a lot more to Jack White. In fact, he's making history now. If you don't have any Jack White material and you're looking for a CD, a DVD, an audio book, don't worry, I've got you covered. Check out the links in the description below. See you next time on Today in Music History.